a long time ago when those autograph shows first started up in Los Angeles, it was great. You could go in for, I think it was five bucks or 10 bucks to enter the place. And then you paid five bucks for autographs before it became a thing where you, you know, I think Priscilla Presley is charging for an autograph. I think I saw the other day it was like six words for $80 and every six words more, it's another $50. I mean, it became, it's become really not fun anymore. Back when they first started, it, it was these, you know, 60s, 50s, 40s actors that would go and they're getting recognition for stuff that they did a long time ago. It was neat. Nice to see them happy and nice to be able to meet them. So anyway, one of the people I met back then in 1995 was a man named Billy Barty. And he is the, the subject of today's video. Billy Barty is probably one of the most active. I think he and Jerry Marin uh, from... Uh, the Wizard of Oz, I think the two of them were the most active little people in the business. And they both had different conditions uh, or forms of what's called dwarfism, little people. Uh, they, uh, there are definitions. Uh, the term midget was, was used for a long time and they say it's a very derogatory term anymore. But the people I knew, uh, a lot of them referred to themselves. My, one of my closest friends, Sadie Corey, uh, it was four foot two, called herself a midget, but they don't like to use that term anymore. Billy Barty uh, would introduce himself. He said, well, because I guess he anticipated people would ask him about his condition. And he says, oh, I was born with cartilage hair syndrome hypoplasia, but you can call me Billy. Uh, he was an activist as well as an actor. I mean, he started as a child actor. He was born William John per Bertanzetti on October 25th, 1924 in Pennsylvania. And his family moved to uh, Southern California when he was about, I don't know, maybe five years old, I think. And he started getting noticed because he wasn't growing like most kids do. And uh, it was easy for him as a young adult to, to play children in movies. Uh, as a youngster, actually, he was in a lot of Mickey Rooney short movies. They were called the Mickey McGuire shorts. They say he was in The Bride of Frankenstein in 1935 with Elsa Lanchester. He was one of the experiments of Dr. Frankenstein. He had different people shrunk down into little glass cylinders, Henry VIII and other, a mermaid. And Billy Barty wasn't featured in that scene, but in a long shot, you could see him as a little child in a, uh, in a, uh, in a high chair waving. Uh, his back was to the camera, but they say that was Billy Barty. He was in a, a ton of things. You know, his parents taught him that he wasn't no different than anyone else. So he excelled as an athlete when he was young. I mean, they, he played in football with other, you know, people who would be considered normal height back then. He competed and did really well for himself. I went on to Los Angeles City College and went to Los Angeles State College, of which I'm very pleased because of my dear parents. Uh, I played football and basketball in college. You played football? I, I made my letter in both sports at Los Angeles and L.A. State College. Nobody ever told me I couldn't do it. Yeah. So I didn't know any different. What did you play on a football team? I played a halfback, left halfback. The coach built seven plays around me. I threw a couple of blocks, and to this day, I don't think the guys knew who hit him. I ran 50 yards in seven and two tenths seconds, and I didn't make a target. And I could shoot half court one-handed, and it's in the record books and uh, in basketball too yeah you could now contrary to what a lot of people think billy barty was not a munchkin in the wizard of oz now he said i had been acting since i was three but i was still four years too young to play in the wizard of oz now it's interesting because he says he was too young to do that but at that point he would have been 10 11 12 years old i think when they made the movie and there were a dozen child actors that were hired as munchkins, some of them as young as four or five years old. So it doesn't quite jibe with, uh, with what Billy Barty says uh, about being in the movie or not being in the movie. However, it's a really fascinating fact is that they made a movie about the making of The Wizard of Oz called Under the Rainbow in 1981 with Chevy Chase and uh, Carrie Fisher. And 
One time in the 60s, Judy Garland was on the Jack Parr show and she made up this, hor this horrible story. It is a horrible story because a lot of people's reputations were, uh, were sullied because of it, but Judy was never one to, uh, to let a, um, the truth get in the way of a good story or a good laugh. And she told a story about the Munchkins, well, I'll just play it for you now, when they made The Wizard of Oz. It's it's highly fabricated story. Hey, how about on The Wizard of Oz? Now that picture, <laughs> they show it once a year and it must cost three, four hundred thousand dollars. Where's the money? Yeah, well, I know. <laughs> Do you get a penny of that? No. Oh, I see. Well, what about the, the munchkins? Yeah, how about the, the oh. what? <laughs> the, munch, the, munch, the munchkins. 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 Well, munchkins. Yeah. Well, how, what did the munchkins do? Well, they were... They're little they were dwarfs, huh? Yeah. 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 Were they little kids or were they, they little were men? Drunks. They were little drunks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were little drunks. What they... What, 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 what they... You got me stuttering. <laughs> what did they do? What did they do? What did they do? What did they do? The, what the dwarfs do? But one of them, uh, who was about 40, a uh, uh, gentleman asked me for dinner, and I couldn't say, I don't want to go out of... I can't because you're a midget. And I, I just said, no, my mother wouldn't fight him. Oh, come on, bring your mom, too, you know. How big was he? About two inches high. <laughs> what, what, what could you do with him? I don't know. They, what could he do? Uh, I mean... Oh, I don't know. They haven't did a lot because... Uh, there was a lot of them. Oh, you have hundreds of thousands. And they put them all in one hotel room. Not one room. One hotel in Culver City. Yeah. And they got smashed every night. And they'd pick them up in butterfly nets. <laughs> So I find it really interesting that in 1981, Billy Barty was in this movie called Under the Rainbow, although he wasn't in The Wizard of Oz. Uh, Jerry Marin, who was uh, someone who we had met who'd been into the Dearly Barton shop a couple of times, was in The Wizard of Oz, and he was in Under the Rainbow as well. But it was just categorized representing the, quote, bad behavior that the little people uh, uh, displayed when they made The Wizard of Oz, which is not true. Because when they made The Wizard of Oz, they shot it at MGM. All the little people were staying at the Culver City Hotel. A lot of people, yeah, there was some partying going on because a lot of these people had never been around other little people. 124 little people were brought in from all over the world and they'd never met other little people before. So they made lifelong friendships and some married, uh, you know, met their spouses there. But uh, the, what, what Judy Garland described was not true. However, this movie that Billy Barty starred in as a Nazi spy, go figure, uh, represents the bad behavior of the Munchkins. It was just an odd thing for someone who fought uh, for um, legitimacy of little people in the movies, or little people in life. He, uh, he started what was known nowadays as the Little People of America. He started that in 1957. And originally it was a group of about 21 little people. Uh, and uh, by 2023, there were over 7,000 members of the Little People. Um, I checked their website out. Billy Barty has hardly mentioned it all, and it was just kind of interesting, I thought. But um, originally it was called the Midgets of America, but as I mentioned before, Midgets is considered a negative term, even though my friend Sadie was a Midget, and she called herself a Midget, and that's why I will use that term. Billy Barty says the general public thinks that all little people are in circuses or sideshows, but we have doctors, nurses, and just about every field covered. They say the term midget really originated with the whole freak show circuit in the, uh, and circuses, and that, thus giving it a negative uh, uh, connotation, and they, they, they request that no one ever use that term again. So Barty continued to be a personality in movies and on TV, tons of movies actually, and, uh, and on TV, and there was one really great uh, scene where he spoofs Liberace, and I'll show you a clip from that right now, but it's, he's actually quite good uh, portraying Liberace. This is a sweet little street in Studio City. And I'm here because it was the last home of a well-known little person. And you know, I love little people. Billy Barty. Here's the last home. 
of Billy Barty. Now, Billy Barty married his wife, Shirley, in 1962, and they had two children together, a son uh, named Brandon, or Braden, sorry, who was of average height, and a daughter named Lori, who was also a little person. Now, here's something that's really interesting. In the 80s, Billy Barty owned a skating rink in Fullerton, California. Uh, it, it existed already, but he took it over and it was called Billy Barty's Roller Fantasy. Along with standard skating rink business, it boasted a 360 degree screen where color scenes photographed all over Europe were rejected during the skating season. The building, which still exists today actually as a church, served for a while uh, under Billy Barty's name as a concert venue. Some people who appeared there include Metallica, Rat, New Order, The Plimsolls, and California classics like The Riptides and The Safaris. Other movies that Billy Barty appeared in were uh, uh, Roused About, an Elvis Presley movie, as well as Harem Scarum. He played dramatic parts in Day of the Locust. She waited till the old guy was dead. I'll give her that much. Hey, remember that nag Cragger pad I gave you to bet on? You know what he paid? 33 40 22 10 and 1850. Tragopan is Greek for pheasant. Huh? Wise guy, you ain't Greek. I speak Greek. I'm a college graduate. Also, uh, Foul Play, he was in Foul Play, Skate Town USA, he was in Masters of the Universe, and his last movie was made in 2001, it was a short film called I.O. Error. There was another little person that he hung around with called, called Patty Maloney. Now, Billy Barty, in the 70s, got a lot of work on the uh, TV shows that were made by Sid and Marty Croft, you might remember they were, they were like puppet shows, life-size puppet shows. <laughs> H.R. Puffin stuff, Lidsville, Sigmund and the Sea Monsters, and uh, and a lot of little people got jobs on that show in full body costumes. I think Billy wa Billy was Sigmund from Sigmund and the Sea Monsters, and Patty Maloney, his friend, would often appear in these along with a lot of other little people that could fit in those costumes. Actually. That's funny. We went by your room to pick me up this morning and there was no answer. Don Juan strikes again. <laughs> Leave him alone, Ralph. Do you like him? I'm nuts about it. There's some problems, though, but... Well, there's always problems. When I think of what your mother and I went through, it took her months before she bought me a ring. <laughs> I can hardly wait to meet them. You did invite me to our anniversary party tonight. Not yet, no. Why don't you invite her to have lunch with us and we'll invite her to the party. Okay, um, but if we don't show up, you guys go on ahead without us, okay? Okay. What's with him? My friend Sadie, uh, who worked with Patty Maloney, although Sadie never did one of those uh, Croft shows in Britain, she did Dark Crystal, and she was an Ewok in Ewok in Star Wars, but it was neat when Sadie came to visit that I was able to take her to Patty Maloney and uh, then to get, to get to hang out for an afternoon, and I got a great photo op with, uh, with two wonderful little people. The Little People of America define dwarfism as a medical or genetic condition that usually results in an adult height of 4 foot 10 or shorter among both men and women, although in some cases a person with a dwarfing condition may be slightly taller than that. The average height of an adult with dwarfism is 4 feet tall, but typical heights range from 2 foot 8 to 4 foot 8. And again, the difference between 
either the, what we commonly know as dwarves and what were known as as midgets like the munchkins and the wizard of oz are perfectly proportioned people people with dwarfism or what we know as dwarfism a form of dwarfism uh that billy barty had had um his limbs were you know different they they didn't grow along with the rest of his body and a lot of times the people that were born with that type of dwarfism like um hervey villache like uh um, well, a lot of other people that were born with that had physical maladies that uh, caused their organs to be it was an extremely painful condition. So Billy Barty was in ill health towards the end of his life. He was hospitalized with a, uh, a lung issue. A lung infection, actually, is what his publicist said. He died on December 23, 2000 at the Glendale Memorial Hospital of cardiopulmonary arrest, basically a heart attack. He had heart disease, hardening of the arteries for years. Now, on December 27, 2000, there was a memorial held at the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints in North Hollywood, where uh, Billy Barty was uh, eulogized. And he is inurned in Forest Lawn, Glendale, Read at Billy's eulogy was this piece called, Oh, We're Little People. Oh, it doesn't take a genius to punch a clock, to push a plow to get things done. It takes a lot of little people to build a bridge, to dig a ditch, or carry a gun. Oh, the good Lord loves us, you can see, because he makes so many like you and me. Built this world and rested so that he'd be free, to keep on making little people like you and me. In 2007, Billy's wife, Shirley, joined him in death. So Billy Barty, a little person who made a big impression. I know, that was, that was, it was so easy to say that, but it's true. A very nice guy and a, a very successful uh, man in show business. And it's interesting that, that some people uh, choose to use those things that some people might think a detriment to them as they were growing up and use them to to make the world a better place and he was because he made a lot of people laugh and uh and rest in peace billy barty